How's it going everyone? It's Artifact. Hope you're having a good week so far. Today on this little tutorial, I'm going to talk about a comb filtering trick you can do in Vital. Yay! And then a little bit of MIDI uh, excellence. Yay! And also a little bit of audio programming as well. So it's kind of three little tips into one. And the loop that we're going to be working on today goes like this. So pretty nasty little group groove. Uh, I basically made this kind of Reese patch on my Patreon recently, and I thought yeah, I'm going to turn this into like a lead and add some kind of extra new special effects. So if we open up this patch here, I'll talk about this little comb filtering trick that I did. Right. So it was originally kind of a low like Reese bass, but I've sort of changed a few settings and pitched it up. And then um, I just wanted to create this part where um, where we introduce this comb filter and it kind of things kind of get a bit screechy, but in a kind of uh, sensible way. So if I just turn up this comb filter, we can hear what it's doing. You get that like, wow, wow, kind of sound, right? It's a little bit too much, you know, if you have it on all the time. So I've just kind of found a nice version of it and then I've tracked it to this LFO. So as we hold down the entire, you know, um, lead line, you know, throughout the course of the lead line, it comes up and down like this effect. So we get a bit of that kind of screechy comb filtering sound, but I've actually done it at certain points during the MIDI of the of the bass line. So I'm going to talk about that next because that's kind of um, the main sort of little tip I want to give you today is is about the kind of MIDI design because I think it's really cool when you do st something like this where you basically, you've got the root note of your track, right? So in this case, it's D. And the root note is kind of just being held there and then I'm using the sort of the glide on Vital. So obviously, you know, you make sure that the voice is set to one, the glide is turned up, the always glide and legato is on. And having the glide sort of up halfway seems to be quite nice around one second. And then if we listen to, you know, just listen to the patch again and see how things are gliding around. <laughs> And when it when it's sort of here when when we get this first like upward pitch bend that's when the comb filter also comes in where we've automated it here in vital using this lfo here on the comb on the comb filter so it's when we get these kind of spikes up in pitch we also introduce this like kind of screechy comb sound and it kind of just exaggerates that um, that kind of uh, effect that we're that kind of screeching high lead effect that we're going for But I think it's really nice, you know, you, you have this sort of consistent uh, Root note, which is you know, the key of your track and then we have have these little You know like an octave up and then this is like one two three four five six seven Hey, so I'm gonna get told off by Art FX again if he's watching because I'm not good at music theory and he told me off last time because it's a perfect fifth or a seven semitones is a perfect fifth. I thought it was a seventh, but yeah, um, it's cool going up like eight semitones and then down to seven. That's quite nice for drum and bass. So that's what I've done here. And then this one is just like up one octave and then up one octave plus one semitone. So that's also, you know, that one semitone up from the root also gives gives that kind of um, flavor, a little dirt, dirty flavor. But yeah, having these, uh, having a, a patch like this with this, um, these lead variations, these pitch variations and this guide going on, uh, it means that all the effects you're running through your patch as well, when it's like gliding up and down, it kind of 
exaggerates those as well and you get this kind of you know during that glide up and down you get some kind of really magical stuff happening so this is brings me on to my next part of this tutorial which is how we're going to bounce out this whole lead and then we're going to just choose the cool little samples of it that sound wicked and then balance it out with the original bass line so if i just i've bounced it out here And then we've gone on here to this part and now what I'm doing is I'm going to like chop up um, the bits of the original bass line which was just so it's just the low part and we're going to chop out little bits there and using the new lead that we've created which is up here We're kind of just going to chop in and out between the low the low part and the high part. So if we listen to it together. So it's a nice way we can sort of separate these two and using the same actual uh, bass sound still, but we're using we're using it as a Reese bass and also as like a Reese lead, but they're kind of have a sharp contrast to each other and by chopping out the audio bits we can really get like a kind of defined impactful groove going on from them so if we just listen to the lead parts on their own so it's when they're really like sort of pitching up and when the glide is on and all this stuff is happening those parts are the, are the, are the parts that sound really cool so those are the parts that i've chopped up like intentionally And then like back in with the with the original bass line. So yeah, I hope that's a helpful little tip of how you could sort of approach um, making bass and melodies, and you know, using that sort of comb filter to exaggerate those screechy leads, doing a MIDI pattern with that kind of root note, and then just lots of glides up and down to like some higher notes and then just sort of bouncing that and then chopping out those parts because they're, they're quite interesting parts. So yeah, if you guys like that, then i got some cool new t-shirts. If you want to ever support the channel, you can just message me if you want one and they're like independently made and they're really cool. If you want my presets and stuff, you can head over to Patreon. I will be back again tomorrow and I'll give you some more expert synthesis advice for your prescription. Okay, bye.